The United Nations mission in the Democratic Republic of Congo comments came after the Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda armies launched a joint operation to hunt for the fighters from the Allied Democratic Forces after it was accused of carrying out suicide bombings in Uganda's capital Kampala last month. A United Nations spokesperson in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Matthias Gilman, told a press conference in Kinshasa on Wednesday that the move was a legitimate choice and sovereign decision by Congolese authorities. Mr. Gilman added that they encouraged regional countries to work together to solve a cross-border threat like the one Uganda and Congo took to fight the Allied Democratic Forces. The United Nations has had a huge presence of troops in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo for the past two decades. But earlier this year, demonstrations shook the towns of Goma and Beni as people called for an end to the United Nations operation, said it had proved ineffective in efforts to achieve stability. The United Nations Security Council is scheduled to decide on 6 December whether to extend the mandate of the mission.